Hey everybody, it's Jacqueline here. Welcome back. And today we're gonna do your senses part two. So the first thing we're gonna do is review what your senses are. So your first sense is your sight. Second sense is your sense of smell. Your third sense is your sense of taste. Fourth sense, hearing and fifth sense is touch. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little activity to try to connect with our different senses. So find a nice place to sit and close your eyes or look down at the ground and take a deep breath. You can lift your head up and look around the room. What do you see? If you close your eyes, can you see in your mind what was in the room? Can you name those things? Do you see a couch? Do you see a bed? Do you see a clock? Can you see out a window? Now open your eyes again and look around the room. Did you remember the things the same way that you see them now? Now open your ears wide and listen around you. Pretend like you have big elephant ears. Can you hear the noises from the other room? Can you listen for the tiniest little sound? Can you hear birds chirping out the window? Can you smell anything? Is somebody cooking dinner in the other room? Does it smell like macaroni and cheese or pizza? Can you smell the shampoo that you use to wash your hair? Do you taste anything? Did you have breakfast and not brush your teeth yet? Did you brush your teeth and can taste the mint or the strawberry toothpaste or the bubblegum toothpaste? Move your tongue around. Does it taste different now or does it taste the same? Now feel the ground around you. Is it soft? Is it hard? Do your clothes feel soft on your skin? Or is there a tag that's itching on your back? Do you feel your muscles relaxing in your body as you sit? Now take a deep breath and open your eyes or look up. Now we're going to do something that shows you how to connect to your senses at different times. Sometimes when we're feeling worried or scared or lonely or lots of different things, we can connect to our five senses and it can help us feel better. So we, I created a sensory toolbox. So you can just ask your grown-up for any kind of box. It could be a shoe box, it can be a little box. This is some kind of box that something got mailed to me in. And you can decorate the outside any way you want. And on the back, what I did is I wrote down the five senses and what I put in the box to connect to those different senses. So I'm gonna open up the box here. Let's see, the first thing on the list that we have is the sense of smell. And what I put in here is a little pouch. And inside the pouch is a cinnamon apple tea bag. And it smells like 
fall and somebody cooking an apple pie and it makes me feel safe and comfortable. So think about what you might like to smell and ask your grown up to help you put something in that's a sense of smell. The second thing you have here is taste. This is when you definitely have to ask your grown up because you need to know what you're allowed to have in your toolbox. So for my toolbox here, I put in a mint and some little gummies. And again, you gotta ask your grown up, maybe they don't want you to keep food in your toolbox, but maybe you could keep a little ticket that says the name of what the food is um, or a picture you could draw on it and then you can go and bring that to your grown up and they can give you the food for the taste. The next one we have here is touch. And I put a feather in it. Sometimes it's nice to take the feather and run it on your arm. Kind of tickle yourself on your forehead or just feel it. And the next one we have is sight. I found a little candle that Mrs. C had up in the closet. And when you turn it on, it flickers. So that could be something you could just set down and take some deep breaths and watch the flicker. And then the final one we have here is hearing. And you can put something in that's quiet or I put in a shaker. You can sit and do shaking. So you can put in any kind of sound that you want or any kind of things in your sensory toolbox. But what you wanna remember is that you want them to be things that uh, make you feel calm or good or happy. So this is supposed to help you and kind of be something that you can go to when your um, needing some help to connect back with your senses. I hope you enjoyed your second session of senses and please join me again um, back here for another Mindful Moments. Thanks, bye.